Hey everyone, this is Zaflon. In this tutorial we're going to look at preparing a live break for making jungle and drum and bass using Logic 9 and the inbuilt EXS24 sampler. The technique we'll be using is very similar to the Akai hardware workflow as used by junglists in pre-soft sampler days, so combining this with modern techniques will help add depth and flexibility to your sound. Let's begin. First things first, open up Logic 9. Now, um, you can actually do this on previous versions of Logic, like all the way back until um, sort of 6 Pro, when they started to throw the excess in there as a standard issue thing. Uh, but it's um, a lot, a lot longer to do it on previous versions. I mean, it's even quite a lot longer to do it on version 8, and even longer still on 7 and stuff like that. There are more stages. But if any of you are using uh, older versions of Logic, let me know and I can kind of like fill in the gaps for you. Okay, first thing we're going to need here is a decent break. And uh, what better place to start than Amen Brother? Which, this is the Amen break uh, from Amen Brother, Winston's 1968 B side. Uh, if you don't already have this break, uh, I've created a down link in the description section below. So if you don't already have this break, I'd recommend to uh, hit that down link download this break and uh, you can follow this tutorial step by step a bit more closely and also it's a great break you just you just need it like you just can't you can't not have this bit of sound okay the next thing we're going to do is set a tempo you see I've already set a tempo to 174 bpm do that just at the the uh, the transport bar at the bottom of the page and uh, screen even now listen to the sample in sample editor which you can access by double clicking the audio region. Make sure that the sample editor is in loop mode. You do have to make sure that it's in loop mode and more importantly that um, you've got this turned off. This is lock arrange position when moving anchor. You, if that's got a tick on, like I just put one on now, um, that's going to mess you up a little bit later. So, so have that turned off for now. Now let's listen to the sample. As you can see, that's the sample in its completion. Um, what we're going to do is just make it into a quick, like, a quick two bar. Um, so we can get the flow of the thing right. So I'm moving the location, the region, the region location markers or whatever they're called. And basically what you need to do to zoom in, zoom out, and keep moving them around until the brake rolls nicely. And uh, when you've been doing this for a while, you'll start to recognise what different bits of sound look like. Like, um, you can see the kick drum dissonance just starting to kick in there, which is probably a good sign that that point needs to be there. Do use your ears, but, but navigating your way visually through sound files in Logic is actually quite easy to do and um, does get you good results so you know it's okay to use your eyes as well as your ears it really is All right that's rolling pretty nicely that's what you want that's rolling nicely so we're going to stop that now and as you can see that's where it is in our um, arrange page the next thing you need to do is Top of the toolbar, you should have this in your toolbar. If you don't, you can stick it on your toolbar by um, going to your uh, view options. Turn your flex on, so you're looking looking at the screen in flex mode. And as you can see, you've got this uh, this little box here appears, and um, you want to go onto the channel strip that you're working on and select rhythmic. Now rhythmic basically looks at the sound in a slightly different way whereby you can um, so I have to turn that off again oh yeah if you get that problem by the way where um, the uh, the view of the flex time doesn't look like this just turn the view off and then turn it back on again that's what I just did as you notice like um, 
it was looking like that, even though I'd actually switched it over to FlexView. So I just basically switched it to off and then back to Rhythmic. And as you can see, what Rhythmic does is picks out all the transient marks in the drums so that when you um, squash the sound, it lets the transients run through a bit and um, the drums maintain their integrity just that little bit more. And then, I mean, how awesome is that? You can just squash it into place. So you've just squashed your break into place and, and listen to that. Already starting to sound like drum and bass. All right, now the next thing you want to do is um, go to the region towards the bottom of the region because as you can see the tools change as you move up the region depending on where you touch the region your your kind of your uh, your mouse changes into a different tool so you want to um, go into region length or like region expose and just expose the rest of the uh, the break so as you can see I've exposed the rest of the break I'm just going to close this because I don't really need it right now it's kind of getting in the way and um, this is leading us on to the next stage where we're going to um, cut the break into sixteenths. So as you can see I've just taken the scissor tool and plonked it on the first sixteenth and this is a very cool trick. Hold down the alt key, so hold down the alt key with your left hand or your right hand if you're left handed and then you'll be using the mouse with your left hand and holding down the alt key with your right hand <laughs> and let go and it will basically put region divides all the way across your audio which is exactly what you want so your entire audio is cut into sixteenths now highlight all the audio and um, at the top of the region right click to bring up your menu bar and you should see in your menu bar You've got this lovely new function called, well, not that new, but Logic 9 new, Convert to New Sampler Track, which is just wicked. So you just press that button, make sure that uh, on this dialog box, when it says Create Zones from Regions or Transient Markers, you want to be creating your zones from regions, because if you do it with Transient Markers, it will basically just like... It will mess your break up, it won't be, it won't be divided into sixteenths, and it won't, you won't get that old school editing style which is basically what we're looking for so yeah regions okay and this is amazing look at this basically it's muted the track created an EXS instrument with every single sixteenth laid across the piano so every single sixteenth is laid across the piano and as if that wasn't good enough as if it hadn't already gone out of its way enough to please you. It's even made it into a MIDI file as well. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? So, before you even know it, you've just been doing this a few minutes, you're already able to edit breaks. And obviously, obviously, I'm doing it really badly now because um, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Because like most of the time, I'm wicked, yeah. Like my my beats sound like wicked, yeah. Like they're the best ones. But um, it doesn't matter because I'm not doing that now. And um, I'm just sort of showing you how this is done. I'm giving you giving you some of my best tips here. Um, so yeah, cut that, loop that, and uh, you're making drum and bass. There's your EXS instrument. That's completely automatable. It's got loads of cool settings on it as well, um, including um, big fat filter, which is massively useful. Uh, speed. Yes, yeah, so I um, hope you got some goodness out of that. I hope you found. I hope I might have enlightened you to something cool. 
check out my SoundCloud. That's soundcloud.com slash Zaflon. That's where you'll um, be able to hear my music. Uh, check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Zaflon Music. And uh, if you're into Twitter and all that malaco, like twitter.com slash Zaflon. Yep, I'm basically Zaflon all over the place. Like, I don't think I share my name with anyone else, so it's kind of cool like that. And, um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions, any sort of tutorials that you want me to do, I'm uh, happy to take on suggestions and do more logic tutorials because I had quite a lot of fun doing this one. So I may well do another one. So if you're nice, I will um, be nice back. So, yeah, till next time, all the best.